Hello everyone, today with Horror Henry and Moody Marrat. Okay, here we go. They glared at each other. It's my. Oh, okay. I'm Captain Hook. No, I am Hook. I'm Captain Hook. I'm Captain Hook, said Horror Henry. I'm Captain Hook, said Moody Marrat. They glared at each other. It's my hook, said Moody Margaret. Moody Margaret lived next door. She didn't like Horrid Henry, and Horrid Henry did not hurt. But when Rudolph was busy, Clipper Claire had a fool, and Sewer Susan had was her enemy, Margaret would jump over the wall to play with Henry. Actually, it's my turn to, ma to be who now said perfect peter i have been i've been put prisoner for such a long time prisoner be quiet said henry prisoner walk the plank said margaret but i've walked fortune 14, 14 times already said peter please can i be cooked now no by thunder said said mother margaret now out of my way warm and he shall fork the Shawas pegged across the deck, waving her hook and clutching her sword and dagger. Chapter 2 Margaret had eye patches and score and, and cro crossbones and pronged hats and clutches and flowers and sneakers. Harry had a stick. This was why Harry played with Margaret. But Harry had to trap terrible thing before playing with Margaret's swords. Sometimes he had to sit and wait while she read a book. Sometimes he had to play moms and dads with her. Words over, please don't tell anyone. Sometimes he had to be the egg baby. Harry never knew what Margaret would do when he, he put a spider on her arm. Margaret laughed when when he pulled her hair. Margaret pulled his harder. Harry screamed. Margaret would scream louder, or she would sing, or pretend not to her. Her. Sometimes Margaret was fun, but most of the time, though, she was a moody old grudge. Chapter three. I won't play if I can't be hooked," said Hardenry. Margaret thought for a moment. We can't boast of Captain Hook, she said. But we only have a one hook, said Her Harry. Which I I haven't played with yet, said Peter. Be quite prisoner, shouted Margaret. Mr. Stim, take him to jail. No, said Harry. You will get your reward, Mr. Stim. Me said the captain, waving her hook. Miss, Mr. S Smith dragged prisoner to the jail. If you very quite prisoner, then you will be freed and you can be a pirate too, said, said Captain Hook. Now gi give me the hook, said Mr. Smith. The captain recently Regularly handed it over. Now I'm Captain Hook and you're Mr. Smee, shouted Henry. I order everyone to work to the plank. I'm sick of playing pirates, said pa said Margaret. Let's play something else. Harry was furious. That was just like Moody Margaret. Well, I I'm playing pirates, said Henry. Well, I'm not, said Margaret. Give me back my hook. No, said Henry. Henry, Moody Margaret opened her mouth and screamed. Once Margaret started screaming, she could go on and on and on. Henry had gave her the hook. Margaret smiled. I'm hungry, Margaret said. Get anything get anything to eat? Henry had three bags of crisps and seven chocolate buckets had it in his room, but he 
Satellite wasn't going to share them with Margaret. You do, you can't have a radish," said Harry. "What eels?" said Margaret. "A carrot," said Harry. "What eels?" said Margaret. "Glob." "What's glob?" "Something special that only I can make," said Harry. "What's in it?" asked Margaret. "That's the secret," said Harry. "I bet it yucky," said Margaret. "Of course it's yucky," said Harry. I can make the yuckiest glove of all," said Margaret. "That's because you don't know anything. No one can make your yuckier glove than I can." "I dare you, go you to eat glove," said Margaret. "I double dare you back," said Harry. "There go first." Margaret stood off, off very straight. "All right," said Margaret. Glove starts with snails and worms, and they started poking under the brush bushes. Get one, she shouted, holding a fat snail. Now for some worms, said Margaret. She got down to down on her hand and and knees and starts digging a hole. You can't put anything from outside into glove, said Harry quickly. Only, only stuff in the kitchen. Margaret looked at Henry. I thought we were making gloves, she said. We are, said Henry. My, my way, because it's my house. Chapter five. Heard Henry and Moody. Margaret went into the gleaming white kitchen. Henry got out two wooden missing spoons and a giant red bowl. I'll start," said Harry. We, he went to the cupboard, cupboard and opened the doors, doors wide. Preach, preach," said Harry, and he poured some into the bowl. Margaret opened the fridge, and looked inside. She grabbed a small, small container, soggy with smelly. So this Simonilla shouted Margaret into the bowl. It went. Colossal spit, spinach, coffee, yogurt, flour, vinegar, baked beans, mustard, bean butter, moldy cheese, pepper, rotten oranges, and ketchup! Shouted Harry. He squirted the ketchup until the bottle. Was empty. Now mix," said Margaret. Hurried Harry and Moody. Margaret grabbed hold of their spoons with both hands. Then they plunged the spoon spoons into the glove and began to stir. It was hard, very heavy work. Faster and faster, harder and harder they stirred stirred it. There was glue on the killing. There was glob on the floor. There was glob on the clock, and glob on the door. Margaret's hair was covered in glob. She saw was Henry's face. Margaret looked into the bowl. She had never seen anything so yucky in her life. It's ready, she said. Her diary and with Margaret carried the glob to the table. Then they sat down, started at sloppy, slimy, slutty, sticky, smelly, gooey, gooey, glory, gu gummy, grassy, gloopy, glop. Right, said Henry. Who's going to eat some first? There was a very long pause. Henry looked at Margaret. Margaret looked at Henry. Me, said Margaret. I'm not scared. She scooped a large. Spoonful and stuffed in her mouth, then she swallowed. She, her face went pink and purple and green. How does it taste? said Harry. Good, said Margaret, trying not to choke. Have some more, then said Harry. Your turn first, said Margaret. Harry sat for a moment and looked at Glob. My mom doesn't like me to eat. Between meals, said Harry. Harry, he's 
Margaret. Henry took a tiny spoonful more, said Margaret. Henry took a tiny bit more, then Glove wolfed Romilly on his spoon. It looked like Henry did not want to think about that I looked like. He closed his eyes and brought the spoon to his mouth. <laughs> yeah, said, said Harry. He didn't eat any, said, said Margaret. That's not fair. She scooped up and up some club and I dread to think what have happened next if they had not been interrupted. Can I summon me now? Called to move voice from outside. It's my turn to be hook. Or Harry, Harry had forgotten or about perfect Peter. Okay, shouted Harry. Peter came to the door. I'm hungry, he, sh he said. Come on, Peter, said Harry sweetly. Your dinner is on the table. <laughs> okay, everyone, subscribe button and like button, please. Everyone, say goodbye.